Today, we're going to learn all about teeth. Oh, this is going to be a little bit awkward. <laughs> Why? Well, in case you both haven't noticed, I uh, don't have any teeth! <laughs> this is kind of awkward. You think that's awkward? You should be trying to eat corn! It's a mess. So are we still going to learn about teeth? I guess we better. Even though I don't have any. The very first teeth we get as babies are called milk teeth, primary teeth, or baby teeth. Babies begin growing teeth before they're even born, and those teeth hide under their gums until the baby is between 6 to 12 months old. And it may take months, but as soon as that first tooth pops in, others come out much quicker. Most children have a full set of teeth by the time they're three. And when you are a child, there are 20 primary teeth in total. Around five or six years old, children's teeth begin to fall out one by one. And do you know why you lose your primary teeth? Well, it's because the primary teeth must get pushed out so your permanent teeth can grow in. Most children have lost all of their primary teeth and have a full set of permanent teeth by the age of 12 or 13 years old. However, you grow more teeth for your permanent set. There are actually 32 teeth when you're an adult. Four wisdom teeth are the final teeth to come in. And this happens between the ages of 17 and 25. However, some people will never grow wisdom teeth. Believe it or not, there are many different parts of a tooth. The crown is the part of your tooth you can see. Wait! You're telling me that kings have teeth on the top of their head? No, Gus. Oh, a different type of crown. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Each crown is covered with enamel, which is very hard and tough. Enamel's job is to protect the inner parts of the tooth, which are extremely sensitive. <laughs> Wouldn't know anything about that, though. <laughs> Enamel is the shiny, solid surface of your teeth. It is also the hardest part of your body. And under your enamel is dentin, which is another hard substance like enamel, but not as hard and the dentin protects the inside part of your tooth called the pulp. Have you ever had a cavity or eaten something very cold and you feel pain? The pulp has nerve endings and blood vessels that send messages to the brain telling it something is too cold or that something could be very wrong with that tooth. And these blood vessels in the pulp also provide the tooth with nutrients to keep it healthy. Cementum covers and protects the root of your tooth, which is under your gums. Your gums are the soft pink tissues that also help protect the roots of your teeth. Hey, guess what? Did you know that humans have four different types of teeth that we use to bite? chew, and grind the food we eat. Four different types of teeth? I wish I just had one. Even one tooth would be enough. Four different kinds. Wow, what are they? But guess what, Gus? You don't have any teeth. I know, that's the point of it. Let's just continue. <laughs> Incisors are sharp and they help to cut our food into small pieces. Your canines are sharp and pointed. They help you grip and tear your food. Premolars only develop as adult teeth, and they have a flat surface to help grind food down. Your molars, which take up the most surface area inside your mouth, help you break down and mash your food into digestible pieces. The last teeth to come in are your wisdom teeth, and you get one in each corner of your mouth on the upper and lower sets of your teeth. 
Wisdom teeth sometimes have to be removed because they can crowd and hurt other teeth and cause a lot of pain. Hey, guess what? Did you know that one third of your teeth are hidden beneath your gums? <gasps> Maybe mine are still hidden? Oh, sorry to break it to you, Gus, but they're not. Ow! And that is why it is so important to take care of your gums too when you brush your teeth. In fact, did you know you'll spend almost a full 40 days brushing your teeth during your entire lifetime? Wow. Brushing and flossing keep your gums healthy, but if you don't floss, you're actually missing about 40% of your teeth's surfaces. It's also important to brush and floss because your mouth has more bacteria than there are people on this planet. Have you ever heard that candy and sugar can cause cavities? That's because some bacteria love, love, love sugar just as much as we do. And this bacteria feeds on sugar and produces plaque and acid, which jeopardizes the integrity of tooth enamel. Plaque is sticky, and over 300 kinds of bacteria can produce and grow within the plaque. And hey, guess what? Did you know that right-handed people chew food on the right side of their mouths, and left-handed people chew food on the left side? Interesting. Hey, guess what? Did you know that you can create around 200 pounds of pressure when you bite down on something very hard? You'll have your adult or permanent teeth for your entire life. So make sure to brush your teeth twice a day for two minutes to prevent problems with the part that makes your smile you. Well, hey, guess what? Now, we all know a little bit more about teeth, and that I don't have any. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye! Bye.